Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm in Manchester, New Hampshire today. I've been working here for about two and a half weeks on these overspray jobs. I won't get into the specifics on them. I will just tell you that there was a building being built. The painter didn't bother to cover the cars, didn't bother to have them uh, move the cars. So he got overspray on over a hundred vehicles. So the insurance company called, I answered, we're here, we're working, we are 30 plus cars down at this point. Process is perfect. So I wanna show you how you can get your overspray job from looking like this. So looking like this, amazing. It's nasty. You can see it, it's bad. From that to that. It's not incredibly complicated, but what you need to pay attention to is the process and just really, how I do it, I wouldn't say is unique in any way. It's just how I jump in and get it handled. But I'm working up here on this bumper. You can see that it has a bunch of overspray on it, as well as some drippage from uh, the heavy duty decon juice that will be released on detailjuice.com on December 1st. That stuff, we do a pre soak. So before we start a car, we're soaking the whole car down. You can see that sprayer. We're soaking the whole car down. We let it dwell for about 20 minutes. Now, you gotta understand, we are in a closed space, in a garage, out of direct sunlight. The car is cool to the touch. You cannot do this out in direct sunlight. It does not work as well. And that goes for the trim treatment that we do, that goes for the paint treatment. You have got to do this in an enclosed area out of the elements. So, with that said, I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod and I'm gonna explain three of my pro tips for removing paint overspray. And this is the bad stuff. This is epoxy overspray, which physically and chemically bonds to the paint creating dimples that you then have to sand out. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of that to do, but this one is not one of them. You can't see the dimples in this color. So if you can't see them, we're not gonna bother to fix them. But I'm gonna get you on the tripod and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. Before I do that, I wanna say this is what my lube water looks like after doing half the bumper. I am going to change that out real quick, but I put about a gallon of water in a bucket. This is about a half a gallon. This bucket is a one gallon bucket. So put a, a gallon of water in the bucket, just like for the Gary Dean wash method. Um, and then same thing with the lube, a quarter of an ounce of infinite use detail juice. And I'll take a towel. I'll show you all that. Let me get you set up on the tripod. All right, so we're back on the tripod now and I've, I've prepped everything to get ready for this uh, little YouTube video extravaganza. So I changed out my water. You wanna keep clean lube. Um, you don't want particles in your lube that are gonna potentially scratch the paint. So you wanna change up your water pretty regularly. But that isn't one of the top tips I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you four tips today. These are the major tips that you really need to know. Anything else you can figure out as, you know, as you go. First tip is with the towel. Towel soaked in the infinite use detail juice. I usually sit it on the top of the panel I'm working on. And if you'll notice, it's dripping down. You don't want too much lube because you want that clay to bite into the paint or whatever it is on the surface. Now, there's no reason why the heavy duty decon juice that'll be available on detailjuice.com detail on December 1st, 2017 won't 
remove ferrous metals and all that other kind of stuff from your paint. However, I'm not gonna try to fool you with marketing trickery and make it change colors. None of that matters. What matters is Decon Juice is designed to remove heavy contamination from in the clear coat that's sticking out and for overspray specifically. Uh, random contaminants, overspray, sure ferrous metals is included, but I'm more gearing this towards uh, taking care of heavier general contamination and paint overspray, which is exactly what it does best. So the Decon Juice is not available currently. Uh, we're not at the release date, which like I mentioned is December 1st, 2017. Um, we are using the Infinite Purpose Cleaner still. Now the Decon Juice was based on the Infinite Purpose Cleaner, but it is stronger, far more potent. It is easier on your clay bar. It won't eat them up as fast as IPC. It also is, um, it has more chemical ability to break down heavier duty paints like the epoxy stuff we're working with. Um, and it just has a stronger dilution ratio. So it's stronger all together, but easier on your clay bar, which is way better. Um, as far as using it as a lube, that's what I would recommend. Uh, we do a pre-soak to break everything down uh, and everything comes off far easier with the clay and the decon juice than it does with just a, a general lube. So with the towel, I set it on the top and let it drip down because you don't want too much lube because you'll be gliding too much on top and not biting into the paint for contaminants. That's one tip. The other tip is, this is my Japanese clay bar that I import. Um, I usually recommend a smaller piece of clay versus a larger piece of clay. It seems to work a lot better. Also, this has a tendency to be a little on the harder side as far as pliability or whatever, but that's good when you're clay, because as the process goes, the chemical is gonna start breaking down the clay regardless. Um, the heavy duty decon juice is far easier on the clay than IPC, but still has a negative effect for prolonged use. So before you knead the clay, you want to go ahead and rinse the sides off and get all this. You can feel it's kind of slimy. Once you get that slime off, you can keep going and then knead the clay up. You don't want to wrap up all of the chemical inside the clay because that's just going to eat it up and break it down. So that's Two tips, you wanna use the Japanese clay I sell at detailjuice.com. Um, just a little small tip for the towel. I like to wipe the panel down every time. Um, cut it in thirds, not halves. It just works better that way. You can actually stick it into tight cracks and crevices and that kind of thing when it's smaller as well. Um, the third tip, and, and I would say that this is the most important tip that you could have for overspray removal. Uh, it is working a one foot by one foot square at a time. Now, if you can't work in a square, you gotta work in a little section like this, no problem. But an average of one foot by one foot is all you need to work in at a time. Work on that section until all of the overspray is gone before you move on you will absolutely, without a doubt, without a question, be chasing your tail if you don't finish that one by one section before you move. Now, not only will that prevent you from having to go back over it, but it saves a lot of time when you know you're done before you move to another section. There's no need to look back over it because you know that you're done. So work in a one foot by one foot section remove all of the contamination, and then move on. The other top tip that I'm going to share is the actual removal process. Now, like I mentioned before, we soaked this vehicle down for about 20 minutes before we ever touched it, and that softened up the paint, started to break it down so it's easier to remove. So now, all I'm using is the Infinite Use Detail Juice as lube on this towel. So, when it comes to removing the overspray, it's very similar to like wet sanding. You wanna use a cross hatch motion. So you wanna go up and down. Up. 
I like to turn the clay bar over and then go side to side. If you think about it on the scale of the contamination, when you're rubbing the clay over the contaminants this way, it's knocking it down and creating an edge on the other side. So if you go side to side, flip the clay over to a clean side and then go up and down, you're able to bite more on the contaminants that are sticking up. So side to side, then up and down, and you've got clean paint. Now, some areas require more effort than others, but it's all the same. A cross hatch motion removes the paint, period. It doesn't mean you can't go over it more than once. It doesn't mean that, that you're gonna get everything out in just one cross hatch motion. I'm just showing you how to set yourself up for success so that you can remove the overspray properly. Um, again, you can put the corner of this clay in these edges. You just work it till the, till the contamination is gone. And then the other thing, you know, on silvers and that kind of thing with heavy metallics, you want to make sure that you look at it in multiple different directions. Clean as much overspray as you can, move from that clean it, look at it in different lights. If you'll notice, I've got a bright light shining towards me. That's my fancy $35 LED light that I bought at Wally World. It's, it's actually pretty awesome. Works very well, and I would highly recommend that you buy it if you're looking for inexpensive lighting that just plain works. Anyway, that's all I got for you on these uh, pro overspray removal tips, but those tips that I gave you, I probably gave you five or six. I said I was gonna give you four, but uh, the most important one, period, is to work in a one-by-one one area and then move on. If you know that it, you've got everything looking amazing and all of the overspray off, before you move, you're always setting yourself up for success because it's saving you time, and you know what I say, time is money. So. That's all I got for you today. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So if you wanna be a part of something bigger than detailing, send a friend request. We'll get you in there. We'll get you learning about the products, the processes, and if you've got any questions for me in your detailing endeavors, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. How many other product line manufacturers give you their, the owners personal cell phone number, none. I'm here, I'm working for you every single day to make your detailing endeavors go easier, smoother, smarter, not harder. That's how we do it. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.